Well, just talk, um, you know, um, first part of, of fall camp and just just talk of things that are going, going out there. Okay, it's exciting times again. Um, we are building off a uh, great finish last year. Obviously, we didn't get to the finals like we wanted to, but um, the off season has been uh, very, very good and, um, and long off season. You just don't stop, really. You start back in January and you keep going. Um, but as we're getting to the fall, it's great to see the kids back in pads and we're a week or two away from playing our first game, so we're excited and um, it's gonna be a fun year. Yeah, talk about uh, what, what you've been able to do uh, with this program. When, when you came here, uh, the program is probably as low as it's been in you know, quite some time and you were able to, each, each year you, you got progressively better until uh, up until last you know last year's uh, semifinal run so just yeah. talk with what, what that's done for the program well you know it's rejuvenated our spirits I mean um, you know when I first got here there were exactly 20 um, uh, 27 players involved in the program we've had a lot of kids um, transferred out and um, there was just a lot of confusion about who we were and where we were going but um, you know, I, I was mentored and, and I had great coaches ahead of me here at St. Paul, Coach A, uh, Coach Omedo, uh, you know, a handful of guys. So, you know, we just stuck to the formula and, we, we, and the formula was just getting uh, great players with good families and uh, our great families. So, um, we surround ourselves on this campus here. We've got a lot of great people. We have a lot of people that believe uh, from the administration all the way down to the student body. Um, and it was just it was just that I just wanted people to believe it, that we were still St. Paul and um, that had never left us uh, win lose or draw so um, you know being alumnus it's easy to understand um, the expectation and the um, uh, you know the preparation that has to go in to get get us back where we want to be so you, you can't be complacent you know I mean every year is a different year and um, but I'm very proud of all the people that we accumulated um, over the past years, and especially last year was our first four-year full uh, four-year season with the kids that have been in, in the program, um, and they stuck here and stayed here. And um, in this area, that's difficult and that's hard to do. You keep kids in your program for four years um, and finish what they started. So it's been a uh, it's been a good run so far. And um, talk about about this team. Looks like you're you're pretty good up front on on both sides and. Um, you, um, you got Armando Velasco back, who's who's a, a physical type of runner, if I remember from last year. Yes. Yeah. Just talk what what this team yeah. expectations. You know, when you look down the line on us, the strengths of our team are our offensive line and our defensive line. So that's special in high school. Um, not to take away from our athletes and skill and linebacker guys, but um, Armando Velasco will shine um, because of the kids that are up front that have been working very hard. Um, you know, great aspect of our team. This is overall the, the highest team GPA that, that I've had since you've been here. Um, and that counts for something, you know, that's high school football. So yeah, we're really relying on the guys up front. Um, they had a tremendous off season. Um, they actually won, um, it was kind of a new concept, but a five on five lineman uh, championship, a tournament. And um, yeah, we, we won with the schools that were in it. We faced some great programs and the kids were able to endure, and it was very physical. So we are um, blessed with a lot of kids who believe and just uh, we want to work hard still. And I think this is the third year you're going to have a new quarterback. Just yeah. just talk about how, how Chris has, has looked so far. Chris is a tremendous leader, you know. He's, uh, uh, you know, we I, I don't necessarily believe that um, you have to build a, uh, get a quarterback and build a team around him. But again, um, I like to think that, uh, you know, I like to find a good leader. I like to find a kid that's going to play that's a tough kid. Um, someone who's not going to make mistakes, but someone who the boys really um, uh, evolve around. And Chris is that guy. He had a great off season in the basketball um, season. Again, the uh, basketball team went to the finals. And Chris was a big part of that. Um, our other quarterback back also, um, you know, from Ray as they both teamed up and did well. Mm -hmm. So I, I you know, to watch the basketball games and watch him, he'd be defensive purposes, he would be in the game and he'd score here and there, but um, that has floated over to the football to where he's a tremendous runner. He's probably one of our fastest players mm -hmm. on the team. Mm -hmm. um, he's working on some mechanics, the arm with his uh, release there, but he's done a great job of improving that. Um, so we're gonna line up with the O-line and with Chris back there. 
um, and some more help here and there. Um, and you know, he's going to be part of the uh, of the whole concept of trying to get the ball down the field. We, we still like to run the football. Okay.